Hi everyone, this is Gordon with Almost Wound. I'm coming to you today with my first ever watch unboxing and first look. I'm so excited about this watch. This is one that I've been wanting to add to my collection for quite some time now. Um, it has a couple of features on it that really just look amazing. Um, even from the marketing materials from the company itself all the way to uh, photos of it on social media and Instagram, videos on YouTube, it really seems to hold up in real life. So I've been so excited to get my hands on a copy of this. Um, it's just come to me from Beijing, China, and I've still got it completely in the packaging that it was sent to me from the manufacturer. So I'm going to walk you through the complete unboxing process um, from start to finish and then give you kind of my initial thoughts on the watch. Um, I'm wearing my trusty Timex um, standard chronograph today. That might give you a little bit of a hint of what this watch is going to be. Um, but either way, I am way too excited to wait any longer to open this up. So let's get to it. All right, here we go. We've got the, uh, the box. Um, it came wrapped um, <clears throat> pretty securely in this, uh, this kind of FedEx plastic wrap. Um, and it has, uh, you see hanging off the side there uh, is I think the customs documentation. I didn't open that part up myself, but I think they had to open that up um, when it was going through customs. Um, we'll try and get this box open for you. I usually, you know, just kind of tear into boxes, but I'm trying to do a nicer job here um, to make sure that, uh, you know, you get the full unboxing experience. very securely wrapped. So it's a good first sign for sure. And you know, let's just go ahead and do this right on open because I'm kind of tired of waiting around. Um, and there we go, we get to the heart of it. So this is the actual box here. Um, we'll get all this uh, this wrapping off of it. Um, it's just a very plain brown paper box, unbranded. Um, so, you know, nothing special for sure. Um, but again, I wasn't expecting a whole lot um, packaging wise, but hopefully they did a nice job keeping the watch nice and secure. So we'll go ahead and get this actual um, shipping box open and uh, we'll see what's inside. Uh, and here we go. All right, so we've got this heavily bubble wrapped um, box inside the box. Uh, it looks like there's at least two layers of bubble wrap on here. Um, that's, you know, an excellent uh, sign that they really took a lot of care in packaging this. Um, I'll try and get this open um, without doing a whole lot of damage. It's kind of nice to keep the bubble wrap around for other packaging that you might need sometimes. So we'll try not to do too much damage to this. Um, this sheet here. I can't quite figure out what they did. There's a lot of tape going on. Um, so I can't quite figure out what's going on and how to actually access um, the initial layer of bubble wrap here. But I think basically they made a bubble wrap sleeve and then they have another layer of bubble wrap inside that covering the, um, the case here. So we'll pull that on out very tightly wrapped. So again, it's a really nice sign that they um, took some care in packaging this to make sure that it's going to get to you, the consumer, in absolutely pristine condition. Uh, this case that we're seeing here um, is not the one that I saw advertised on their website. Um, and that's okay. You know, um, again, really more about the watch than it is about the case. I have a watch case that this is going to live in. Um, but it is interesting to note that this is not the case that was advertised on the website. Um, and we'll try and get this on open for you. I'm hoping for a real satisfying um, case opening, but we'll see what we get. And uh, this case is kind of tricky to open. I'm not really sure what's going on here. If there's another latch I'm missing, I don't want to, you know, do anything to break the case just in case, um, I need to send the watch back for any reason. Um, so I'm going to kind of try and see what's going on. But there we go. We get a nice little pop there. It's just a little stuck together. And 
and voila, not quite what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a really nice um, case opening there where you'd have the watch presented beautifully and you could really see it um, right from the get go. But let's see what we've got here. We've got some tags on the strap. Um, I'm just checking to see if any of these have the serial number or anything like that before I put them on camera, but it's just a bunch of, um, uh, informational tags about the brand and everything. So nothing too important. Let's go ahead and flip this watch over and see what it actually is finally. And there we go. There we have it, folks. This is the Merker Pierre Paulin FOD chronograph. It's got the Siegel ST19 movement in it. Um, there's, you know, a thousand watches out there with that movement. Um, this is the reverse Panda dial version. They can um, send them to you either with the original Panda dial or this reverse Panda. And there's a little glimpse of the case back. That's really what I was probably the most interested in with this watch is that beautiful open case bag showcasing um, the ST19 movement, which is, you know, probably one of the most beautiful movements in the kind of budget watch world. So there we go. We got the little plastic protective wrap off the case and we get a nice shot of the dial and then a nice shot here of the case back. And it is, I mean, initial impressions, it's just stunning. Um, way more beautiful than a $200 watch should ever be. Um, and I think this might make it one of the best deals out there because what you're getting is a lot of um, aesthetic for not a whole lot of money. And, um, you know, there are endless reviews out there about the ST19 movement. So you can kind of read through those at your own leisure. Um, but it's definitely um, holding up the test of time in terms of reliability and, and functionality. So we got a bunch of cards here. There's a big thick manual that it comes with. I'm just checking to see if any of these cards are the warranty card, but they're just kind of fun facts and little games you can play and stuff. And here we have the actual warranty card, full international warranty. Um, it's really nice. This is a signed warranty card, um, signed and dated. Um, that's not something that you get on a lot of watches at this price point. I don't think, um, I know if you spend $200 at Timex, I don't think you're going to get, um, that level of service there. So that's a really nice, a really nice touch. Uh, it comes with this, you know, just kind of basic microfiber cleaning cloth. Um, we'll open that up and give the watch a little bit of a wipe down just to make sure it's absolutely in its most pristine condition. And, uh, there we have it. The strap. As you can see, is about as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I knew this watch was not going to live on this strap for a long time, even just seeing it in the pictures, but I've heard reviews as well. And luckily, it comes with a nice little um, strap changing tool, um, spring bar tool. I have a couple of um, leather rally straps from a new company that I found that are coming. And so if you follow my Instagram, you're going to see this watch on a, on a different strap already. And you was not going to live on this strap at all. So, um, but again, it's a $200 watch and I did not buy it for the strap. I bought it for the watch and, um, I could not be happier. So I'm going to try and get you a nice more close up shot here. If I can figure out how to work my camera and get it in focus for you. Um, give me a second. And there we go. We're snapping back into focus and, almost have it. There we go. Beautiful shot of that incredible dial. Um, it says Pierre Paul in there, a little bit of text, um, mechanical chronograph. And then that's, that's the money shot folks. That's the case back there. Um, absolutely gorgeous.